It was almost like an old pals act yesterday as the two managers exchanged some happy pre-match banter. But the smiles wouldn't have lasted long during a poor first half. Two clear-cut chances fell Livingston's way, but Pars keeper Marco Rutenbeck was equal to them both. Kino was first to test him after half an hour. And then David Bingham almost found a way past with a well-struck shot which the goalie deflected away for a corner. Doesn't really matter how you keep them out as long as they don't go in. Dunfermline saw plenty of the ball in the first 45 without fashioning too many obvious chances, although Craig Brewster came mighty close as the half-time whistle approached. Brewster's been a major player for Dunfermline this season but couldn't quite keep this effort down. He made amends though two minutes after the restart as Dunfermline reacted best to the half-time team talk. A fast fluid build-up involving Stevie Crawford and Gary Dempsey gave Brewster the chance to shine. Goal number seven of the season and Dunfermline ahead in the game. This was much more like it in the second half as both sides upped the ante and the quality. Goal of the season would have been settled before bonfire night had this Gary Boland screamer been a few inches lower. There isn't yet an award for save of the season, but maybe there should be. Barry Wilson couldn't believe his header was kept out. This really is top-class goalkeeping from Marco Rutenberg. And that should have been the spur to go on and put the game beyond Livy's reach as the par superbly turned defence into attack. Lee Bullen and Craig Brewster tried to outdo each other in how to measure the perfect pass. Gary Dempsey did just about everything right, but plucked agony from the brink of ecstasy. And boy, did he know it. He looks for all the world like a top penalty box predator, then falls prey to stage fright. That didn't stop Dunfermline pushing forward though, something Lee Bullen did at various points in the game to great effect. But like Dempsey before him, Bullen blew it at the vital moment. Once again Dunfermline superb in the build-up but just unable to kill the game off. And, as you might expect, such profligacy was eventually punished. Livingston refused to rest until they got even. And ten minutes before the end, the Sheriff made sure they did. Substitute Sharif Tourmamont, ensuring its four league games without defeat for the Levy Lions.